Hey guys, welcome to another unboxing video. Today we're doing Dia and Co. I'm so excited. Um, so just a little um, forewarning. I am not the best at editing and I have been working on it. Um, I think I have a few tricks um, with my camcorder and with the editing software that I have to make this hopefully as seamless as possible. Um, but I apologize in advance if it's not the best quality. So. I'm going to try it anyway. Um, so yeah, today we're doing Dia & Co. I'm super excited. I love them. Dia & Co. is a subscription box service. They cater to plus size. Um, they carry sizes 0x through 5x on most items. Um, and then I want to say it's 12 to 32. Size 12 to size 32. Some of you are saying size 12 isn't a plus size. I agree, it shouldn't be considered a plus size, but in a lot of clothing companies, it is. So, um, Dia & Co, you can subscribe monthly, you can subscribe every two to three weeks, you can do every three months, um, or when you get a box and you go back and you rate it, um, you can ask to have your next box shipped immediately. Um, so basically like every two weeks, you can get something new in. Um, it is a $20 styling fee, uh, but that $20 deductible, $20 is deducted from anything that you purchase. They send five clothing items in each box. So if they send you something that's worth $40 they t and you buy it, they take the $20 off. So it's only $20. Um, if you buy all five things in your Dia & Co box, that, that specific box that you get, um, you get 25% off your total purchase. Um, which is awesome. There's been a lot of times where there's one thing that maybe I'm like, I like this, but I don't know if I'll ever actually wear it anywhere. Um, but it fits well and I like it. And with the 25% off, it's actually cheaper to keep it. Um, and then just try to find a place, a place to wear it sometime. Um, so it's amazing. I love Dean Co. I've been doing it for about a year and a half now, maybe a little over a year and a half. And I have to say that honestly, before Dean Co., I had no real style. Like you take a style quiz when you sign up. Um, and I was like, I can't take this style. I don't have any style. I go to Walmart and I go to Target. And I just buy whatever I think looks eh, okay on me. Um, something that doesn't make me look too fat or too bulgy or too... Mm, whatever um, and after the first couple of boxes from Dianco I realized that I could actually look really good um, with the clothes that they style you in so it's really amazing they've really really changed my sense of style for myself and and made me more acceptable of who I am and it's just it, it sounds crazy, but they really just have changed my life in so many ways. I love them. I'm this, by the way, um, I'm not getting paid to say any of this, <laughs> so it's, it's not sponsored in any way, shape or form, but I really do just, I just love them. I just owe them more. I think that I could ever repay them even with the price of the clothes. So they are not Walmart and Target brand clothes. They, um, they are high end, high quality brand clothes. They're not going to cost five bucks. So if you want a plain white t-shirt, a pink, you know, whatever, uh, go to Walmart and get something cheap. Go to Target, get something cute, but not too expensive. Um, these are higher end clothes. I use it mostly for um, work clothes. You can put in your profile um, if you want casual, if you want business casual, if you want dressy, um, date, night. Uh, clothing you can uh, put if you like certain colors that you don't want them to send um, like I'm not big on animal prints so I put on there not to send me animal prints I'm also not huge on lace um, so some lace is okay but I don't know for me just me personally everybody's different please don't be offended um, but you can put on their things not to send they carry tops jackets and sweaters tank tops, button down, sleeveless, all kinds of tops. Um, they carry skirts, skorts, long skirts, short skirts, um, dresses of all lengths on um, all seasons, uh, pants, capris, 
jeans, and shorts. So they have a big variety to choose from. Those are just the clothes. They also have jewelry, um, scarves, and handbags. So I have chosen not to receive any accessories. I've gotten a couple um, necklaces from them, and I really did think I really did like them. But for the most part, I don't wear a lot of jewelry, and so I mostly want clothes in mine. Um, I do have a couple of things pinned to my page because you can pin things that you see on their website um, to your personal page. Um, so I do have a few things to pin to my page. There's a couple of bags that I'm kind of wanting. Um, uh, I think there was a belt or two uh, that I liked. Uh, I think another necklace I picked out that I pinned. Um, so those would be okay if they sent those. But I really like it because on their website you can um, go through all the pictures that um, the people have posted that have gotten Dia and Co boxes in the past um, and taken pictures of themselves in the outfits and you can really just see oh my gosh I like that outfit so much or you know whatever that looks really cute together it kind of helps you style the items together um, also re when I first started it was literally you did your profile quiz and then they they shipped you five things that they picked for you 100% they picked it They've upgraded their website uh, over the last year and a half since I've been working with them. Not with them. Um, since they are working for me, because I pay them, maybe? Since I've been utilizing their services. <laughs> um, and they've changed a lot. So now you can repurchase an item that you've already purchased. So like there's one maxi skirt that I love and it actually comes in five different fabric materials. Um, so I have it in three. I have it in black with like these pink and green flowers. Um, I have it in navy blue with these orange flowers. And I have it in black with white polka dots. Um, so t exact same skirt, just different fabrics. Same thing with tops. Um, if they carry a top in multiple fabrics or prints um, or colors, uh, you can choose something that you've already purchased and you can repurchase it. You can put it in your in your next box that you're going to receive. You can do up to three items. Not only things that you've already purchased, but now they have um, not everything that they uh, have access to, but a lot of the things that they do, they have a place where you can go onto their website and you can um, you can put up to three things in your next subscription box um, from just pictures and, and itemized information about that you know, piece of clothing. Um, so I really like that. And then they also now have a shop online. <clears throat> so you can just put it in your shopping cart and buy it right then and there and you don't have to wait for a subscription box. You don't have to have a subscription box. You can just purchase what you want. So I really like that too. Um, yeah, D&Co is just amazing. I, I love, they work, all of, all of the stylists are plus size, so they know what a plus size body feels like, um, what it looks like, um, how to style it. Um, I was skinny most of my life, like really skinny, like skinny growing up, um, and so I've only been plus size for about 10 years now or so. Um, and it, it was just really hard after that transact. I had kids basically and then I just never lost the weight. Um, my, you know, whatever. Um, but they know what it feels like. They know how to fit, uh, what kind of seams look good, um, you know, how tight the sleeves should be. Um, so I just think that's amazing. They work with these um, companies that produce these clothing items and there's a few of them that I, Molly and Isidore I love um, there's a few others that I'm just like they know what they're doing I typically will wear a 2x um, but in certain clothing uh, brands uh, they'll send me a 1x um, the first time they sent me a 1x it was in my second box and I was like oh man I can't wear a 1x I'm I'm a big girl and I have a large chest and I can't wear 1X, that's, it's gonna be too tight, I'm gonna have to return it, which I'll talk about returns in a minute. I'm gonna have to return it, it's just not gonna work for me. I put it on and it fits great. I love it. Um, so they know that in that brand it runs a little big. 
Um, and then there's been a couple things, uh, dresses specifically, that they've sent me a 3X. And I'm like, man, this is going to be like a tent on me. But it's not. It actually fits. Um, they know that that brand runs a little small. Um, they also, I put in my um, profile that I like things loose and flowy. Um, there are some people out there that are proud to show off their muffin tops and power to you. I think that's amazing. You still look great. I'm not one of those people. I like to pretend like I'm not overweight. <laughs> I like to pretend like I'm not a big girl. So uh, when the I don't want to wear a tent, but I want the clothes to be loose and flowy. Um, and I put that on my profile page, and they know, the stylist knows um, what kind of clothes to send. So I did do a little sneak peek of my box. They send you a little style guide um, after they've shipped the box out, and you can kind of see how to style some of the items. I'm a little bit nervous. One of the items in here I know is a pair of jeans. I am six foot tall. I need a 34 inch inseam. Most hauls are 34 inch, uh, sorry, 32 inch inseam, which just doesn't cut it if I want a full length, full to the floor jeans. Luckily for me, almost all jean sizes are in fashion right now, ankle jeans, capris, and anywhere in between. Um, is kind of in fashion depending on what shoes you wear with it. So as long as you style it together, well, it works. I'm a little bit nervous because I only have two pairs of jeans from Dia & Co. Um, because they don't really ca they carry a couple in talls, but not, not many. Um, most of the time if they send me jeans, I end up wearing them as capris, um, as I am with today's outfit that I have on. My jeans are capris. They're not supposed to be, but I wear them as capris from Dia & Co. Um, because I'm not as comfortable with these as, as angle pants or just, they just look a little bit too short. High waters is what I call them. So, um, but anyway, returns and exchanges, super easy. If they send you a 1X and it's too tight and you need that 2X, you just go when you're rating your items after you're done trying everything on, you get five days to try it all on. <clears throat> when you're done, you go to their website and you rate the items. Um, you rate the material, whether it was uh, good quality or not the color, the pattern, um, the sizing, if it fit you, um, and, and you can keep, exchange, or return each individual item. So, and I'll show you the bag, the return bag that they send is prepaid. Um, you just put it in your mailbox with whatever items you want to either exchange or return. Mailman takes it away. Easy as that. No shipping and handling, nothing. It's free. Um, if you want to exchange it, you just put exchange and you put what size you want to exchange it for. If you want to return it, you put return and you tell them why you want to return it. You don't have to put a description. You don't have to say, well, I thought I would like it, but I didn't like it. You just put didn't like and you're done. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Getting over this <coughs> sinus infection. Feeling a lot better, but still getting over it. Um, super simple and easy. And if you exchange it, uh, it, when you first turn it in, it looks like you don't get the 25% off if you keep everything. But after you get it back, it tells you on the receipt that you've been given that discount of the 25% off. So you really do get to keep that. Um, it's amazing. I love it. I love d and Co. We're going to get to it. There's going to be some weird editing in here. I apologize. I'm going to be pausing it and like moving the camera around and then restarting it so it might like click on and off. You guys won't notice anything. I will. So, here's my Dia & Co box, cute little box, purple tape. I, I know two things that are in here because I put them in there. I wanted them. I saw them on their website, I was shopping, and I said, I want these in my next box. There are some colors I just don't have a lot of in my wardrobe. So I wanted to add them. Got it. Okay, so when you open it up, it just looks like uh, this. And a little envelope comes. I'll show you the return thing very first so you can see it. Prepaid, return, no postage necessary. It's not big enough for one item. It's big enough for all five items. It's big. Just in case they get it wrong one month, 
I have returned things. I have exchanged things. I've never returned everything. There's always been at least one or two things in, in each box that I've really loved. <clears throat> but if I wanted to return them all, simple, easy, free. And then in the rest of the envelope, they have two things. One is my invoice. It's got the prices, the brand, the name, the color, the size. It's got the total, it's got the styling fee taken off, and it's got the 25% off applied if you purchase everything. So for example, in this box, um, the 25% off is $73.25. There's nothing in my box that costs that much. The most expensive thing is um, a pair of jeans think that I might have ordered I can't remember um, and they're $69 so even if these other jeans that I know are in here don't aren't perfect it would be cheaper to keep them and maybe I gift them to a friend maybe I've got a Christmas present for a friend that I didn't have before uh, maybe I donate them to to um, a shop you know um, Goodwill or Samaritan Center or some, some, probably not Goodwill, sorry Goodwill, we have problems, um, but uh, you know, I donate them and they go to someone who actually needs some jeans, it's still free for me uh, to go with that to keep them, so I like to refer back to this later when I'm trying to um, like figure out, sometimes colors are like, they'll say Kelly Green and I'm like, is that Kelly Green, which is so, um, and then also sizes, some, sometimes it's nice, so I like to refer back to this. Um, and then there's also a little note for my stylist, which I love. They always say the nicest things, so I'm just going to read it real quick for you guys. This video is almost 20 minutes long already. I haven't even started. I can't help it. I love Dianco. I love them. Okay. <clears throat> Hi, Amanda. It's time for another Dia box. I have your shop pieces and some fun hand-picked items to try. Let's dive in. So I did pick some shop pieces and put them in this box, so... These pocket detail jeans are sure to change up your denim game. Style them with this cotton pullover for a great weekend look. You can also wear this halter neck dress ooh, for a chic ensemble. Perfect for a laid back day with a denim jacket and ankle boots. So even though they don't do shoes, they kind of tell me what kind of shoes would look good with things, which I appreciate. Don't forget to update your profile and preferences to reflect your current wants and must haves for the season. Since they're switching over from summer to winter, um, a lot of the items now are sweaters and longer dresses and jackets and longer pants. So they just want me to update, update my profile and pin winter items so that when they send me my next box, they're, they're not kind of in the dark on what I'm, what I'm looking for for this winter. Um, have fun trying on everything and let us know what, he, what you think. Amber. Amber's my stylist. Um, I've had a couple other stylists. Sometimes they get super busy and they kind of help cover for each other. Every single time, it's been amazing. Even if Amber can't do it and I get somebody else, they read my profile. They look at my pinned pages. They look and see, don't send me jeans that are only 30 inches long. Don't send me long sleeves unless the sleeves are going to cover my entire arm because I am six foot tall. Um, don't send jewelry. <laughs> don't send bags. Don't send belts. Uh, they know all this because they read my profile and I so appreciate that. So Amber, thank you. I'm really excited about this box. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hold up each item and show you, and then I will pause the video for me. You guys won't see much. <clears throat> It'll just take a second, but I'll pause it for me, and you will um, get to see me try try these items on. So, so here's ta -ta, box. and everything just comes up folded nice and nice and cute. <coughs> Excuse me. Get all the way down there. I feel those jeans on the bottom. So here's my items. Put that over there. Yay! Oof. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. Okay, so this first top. Let's see. Oh, that is very pretty. Black and ivory company is called Mary Bell. I see you. Hi. <laughs> um, so that is just a cute little tank blouse. So I don't wear 
very much sleeveless to work. I, I'm a um, paraprofessional. I work in an elementary school with a kindergarten class. Um, so I am not comfortable wearing sleeveless a lot. Um, a lot of times I'll wear sleeveless and I'll put a, oh my gosh, I totally lost the word for it. It's not a jacket. Why can't I think of what it's called? Yeah, and then if I get hot, I just take that off and then I can have my sleeveless on like if we're out on the playground at recess and it's hot or something. Um, <clears throat> I don't know why I can't think of, of uh, what it's called right now. That's, I'll think of it later. Don't worry, I will think of it later. It's not a camisole because that's like a tank top that goes underneath. Mm -hmm. I have lots of them. It's not a blazer either. Nope. I'll get it. Anyway, this is really cute. The camera's really close. I'm gonna back you up just a little bit. <laughs> is that better? Better? No, it's still too close. That's okay. You'll see me when I try it on. Um, yeah, so that one is Black and Ivory by Mary Bell. That's 50, that retails for $55. This one is one that I put in my subscription box because I don't have very many white clothes and I really need some white things to kind of even out. White is not typically as flattering on big girls as black, just, you know, um, but I love it anyway, especially on the warm. I know summer's almost over, but I'm not ashamed to wear white. Um, so yeah, that is really pretty. That is by East. Adeline in white and white Nicole kimono sleeve blouse it's $55 so again this is not you're not gonna get something for 20 bucks here people this is not a uh, Target or Walmart um, it's not Kohl's not TJ Maxx um, but they're really good quality they're and they're beautiful so okay next I want to say this is my dress I'm pretty sure I had this pinned to my page. I don't think I put it in, but I pinned it. If I can find the top. Here we go. This is Mary Sky. Mary Sky is one of my favorite brands that Deanne Co. works with. Um, so that's just really pretty. I really like that pattern. Um, it's sleeveless, so I'll have to wear. Um, <laughs> I'm going to... But that's really cute. I like that. <clears throat> we'll have to see what it looks like on. It's a really thick material, which is nice. So even in the winter, it's gonna keep me warm. Um, it's it's double double layered, so it's really nice, and it's a little bit of a stretchy material. It's long. I'm really excited about that one. So that's Mary Sky. I love Mary Sky. Um, Ocean Way sleeveless halter neck maxi dress in black and pink, uh, $55, so same price as the shirts. Um, that's cute. Um, this is called, this I put in my, this I put in the box, a uh, Madeline cotton pullover sweater in teal, and it's $59 by Prescott, New York. So I have this in mustard yellow already, which I love to wear with my navy blue pants. Um, and I just really love it. Um, it's got these little button details on the side. And I thought I need, I don't have a lot of green and I don't, I'm not a big like, green's one of my favorite colors, but I don't want like um, gra green grass, like lime green or so I like teal because it's a blue green, so I can match it with blues, greens, blacks, everything. So I'm really excited to try this on. Like I said, I already have one in another color, um, but sometimes they run a little different. This is actually um, didn't come from my purchase again. It came from their new stock for the winter. Um, so I'm really excited. And you can tell it's only, you know, it's less than three quarter length sleeves. It's elbow sleeves. So I really like that because it's hard for me to find sleeves that are long enough. All right, and these are the boot cut jeans that I was a little bit worried about. <coughs> Excuse me. These are Greenwood, these are by Morgan Walker. 
Greenwood button boot cut with pocket detail, medium wash, $69. So these are the most expensive things in the bag, in the box. Um, it's still less than my 25% discount if I purchase everything. Um, so you can see they are boot cut. They've got a little bit of a stretch in the waist, but hopefully not so much that it stretches out. They're still button fly. Um, the pockets on the back are really cute. That's the detail that they were talking about. The Morgan and Walker. Yeah, please wash me separately before wearing. My indigo or tint color may transfer onto light fabrics or other objects, so a lot of jeans have that. Um, but yeah, those are really cute. I don't know if they're going to be long enough. Ooh, they look maybe... Oh, they look like they might be long enough. Dianco does work with some companies that carry talls. <gasps> but some companies' idea of tall is not my idea of tall, being six foot tall. And a lot of times I have to go to other companies and buy tall clothes, and they are so expensive. I just bought a pair of jeans, um, a pair of work pants from another company, $189 to get 34 inch inseam for one pair of pants. Now they're good quality, they're going to last me for years as long as I don't lose weight or gain more weight or have to switch sizes, they're going to be awesome, they're going to last a long time, but I'm really excited. So I'm going to try my first trick of editing. Trick. I'm going to pause it for me, scoot the video camera back, try to get a better angle so that you can see more of me, and try on my first item of clothing. Alright, see you in about one sec. So. Hi guys, I'm back. <laughs> okay, <coughs> right when I have a coughing fit. So I decided to start with a teal sweater. Um, so when I scoot back, I know you love my door with the beautiful picture that my son made me. Um, when I scoot back, you will see that, uh, you won't see my head, um, but I love, I love it. I love it. It's not a tent. I don't feel like it's too big, but also no muffin top, no bulging. The sleeves are perfect. It's really hard in a school, just like in any office building, you get all dressed up for the warmth in the winter and you get in and you're wearing a sweater with long sleeves and then you get really hot because you're inside this temperature controlled room but you have to get dressed warmly to go in um, and then the same in the winter you or in the summer you dress like wearing hardly you know not not nothing but you know a lot lighter clothing and then the AC is on and you're like sitting there shivering which is when you would put on a cardigan I remember the name of it thank you anyway so yeah, really cute. Like I said, I mean, it's there, people. It's there. But you're not going to see it. Cute detailing. There's the back. I love, I love, I just love these. I'm so glad I went with a, a pair and teal. These are the pants I was talking about. So I don't know if you can see, just I wear them as capris. Because... Um, they're, these are my old ones. These aren't the ones that just came in the box, but they are from Dianco, and I love them too because again, no muffin top with them. Yeah, there's my first item. That's a keeper for sure. All right, Let's see about my next one. I'm back. <laughs> so I decided to try on the white one next. So again, it fits really well. It's maybe a little bit bigger, but I, I like it so it doesn't do this. I'm not comfortable. Some people are, but I'm not comfortable walking around with that all day. So, nice wide arms. Again, really nice length of the sleeves. I like how wide the arms, they're not quite bell. I don't really like the bell sleeves. So I like how these are a little bit wider. They're not going to leave marks on my arms. Sometimes the arms on plus sizes are just so tight. Um, <clears throat> a good length. It's double layered. A good length. It kind of covers up my uh, area down there that I don't necessarily want to see camel toes or anything of. I like the neck, the little detailing there. Now this is a shirt that I probably would wear a white tank top under. 
even though it is double layered, you can still see my bra outline, which is fine. It's not like you can see anything below, but I prefer, I'll just wear a tank top underneath it, but I love it. I feel so, it's so silky and smooth. It feels so comfortable. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah, I feel really comfortable in it. I'm not, some clothes I put on and I'm like, oh gosh, I can't wear that in public, but I really like this one. So on to the next. I'm back. Sorry, that was really awkward. Um, okay. <coughs> So the tank top, I love it. I love the length. It's very nice. I love this little keyhole detailing in the front. This could maybe actually, I might be able to go down a size in this and still be comfortable. So this might be an exchange to go down to a 1X. The only thing I would worry about maybe is losing some of the length. I might check it out first before I do that. It's pretty big, but I did bring a couple of the cardigans that I wear on a fairly regular basis that I also got from Dianco. This one I think will look really good with it. It's almost like a blazer. makes it a little more dressy. I like that so much. Look at that. I feel very professional. I could definitely go into work wearing this. Yeah. So even though it's sleeveless, sleeveless is just fine, especially in the winter. I can wear this blazer, this uh, cardigan over the top of it and feel super comfy. So, all right, I think I'm gonna try on the dress next. Make sure you put in the comments down below if you like or don't like any of these tops or bottoms that I'm trying on. I'm back, <laughs> sorry, I'm out of breath because I've been running around. So this is the dress, and I will tell you, when I first put it on, I was not told, although I love the fabric, I love the shape, I love the um, pattern. Um, I don't love my shape in it. I put on some tummy tuck underwear <laughs> and I'm liking it a lot better, although I'm not liking the back so much now. But I think I have a solution for that. It's a really good size length. I'm going to step up here on my couch so you can see the length. So it just goes right you know, it's above my ankles, but I really like that length. <clears throat> so I think I found a solution because again, I don't really wear sleeveless, although I like the, I like that. One of the cardigans. So I have a couple here that I want to try on with it. It'll cover my booty a little. Get those sleeves nice and comfy up there. I don't know about this one. I don't know. It's okay, but I still don't feel super comfy in this outfit. If I went to school in this, I'd be pretty self-conscious all day, I think. Let me know what you think in the comments if you like it. I don't really have a great fashion sense so <laughs> I think I'm gonna like this one a little bit more it's one of my long duster cardigans again from Dia and Co because they're amazing and even though I have five black cardigans they're all different this one oh yeah I'm much more comfortable in this <laughs> see and the sleeves are long enough so for winter it'll be great Covers my bum. Got my smoothers on. Oh yeah. Oh see now I could wear this to work and be comfy all day long. Sorry. Hi, I'm gonna get really close for a second. Cats being mean. 
Um, but yeah, I could totally be comfortable wearing this to work, um, especially on a nice fall, cool, crisp winter day. And then if I got hot in the classroom, you know what? I just take it off and I'll pull an old school 90s style wrapped around my waist. Yeah, probably won't do that. I, I probably, I probably, I just, I won't do that part guys. I won't do that. <laughs> okay, last thing I'm going to try on are the new jeans. I'll put my black top on with it again so that it just is more na natural, neutral. Okay. Okay, I'm back. So, these jeans for me guys are a no-go. Um, they're too tight. They're really, really tight. So that's not going to work. I do love that detailing on the back pockets. But they are boot cuts, so I can't can't um, roll them at all. Um, if they fit well and they were boot cut, I might w work out a way. I could probably hem them myself. I could probably cut them off into capris and hem them. Um, I'll show you the length on me though. Um, they're too tight anyway, but. So, and the cats decided to lay down on top of the camera stand. So they're just too short. It just looks weird. They're just right above my ankles. And I'm just not comfortable with that. Um, they're not ankle. And boot cut looks weird in ankle length anyway. And they're so tight. Whew. So these jeans are no-go, but the deal is, they're free if I keep everything else in the box, which I want to keep. So these, I'm going to keep. Maybe I'll sell them on Facebook Marketplace. Maybe I'll find a friend who wears maybe a size smaller than me, who's a little shorter than me. Um, maybe I'll just donate them, give them away. I don't know yet. Okay, I'm going to change back in my normal clothes and finish, do my outro. Just a sec. Okay guys, so there you have it. There's my Dianco box. Um, I was really impressed with it. Even the jeans were really cute. Um, I'm gonna keep them because it is cheaper um, to keep them than not. I'm actually, I'd be losing money if I sent them back. So, I'm gonna keep them. Um, but they're really cute. I think I know who would like them. So I think I know who I'm gonna give them to. If they don't want them, I might try to sell them. Then I can actually make some money off of it. <laughs> I'll just sell it all on Facebook. Um, but I'll probably just donate them. I'll probably, honestly, I just, I'll donate them. Um, I need to go through my closet anyway with all my Dia and Clo clothes. Dia and Co clothes. I have to go through my closet often and get rid of old stuff that I just don't wear anymore and replace it with Dia and Co stuff. So I'm really excited about um, the shirts. All three shirts I thought were great. I really like the dress after I figured out how to wear it. So sometimes if you get something in and you're like, ugh, this has bulges in all the wrong places, <clears throat> figure it out if there's something you can do to make it work. So I liked it with my little Spanx type unders on um, and then with the I lost the name for it again. Oh my gosh. The cardigan. God, I'm never going to remember. Oh. The cardigan. With the cardigan. Um, I really liked it with the cardigan. It made me much more confident in the dress. Um, I don't like wearing things that I'm uncomfortable in. So no matter how stylish they are, if I'm not comfortable 100%, I work with kindergartners and... I'm on the floor up and down and I have to be comfy in my clothes so I'm really excited that I actually got the dress to work because I really like the material it was a really stretchy silky um, I like the style of it the halter neck the pattern was a nice floral pattern and these are all clothes that I never would go to a store and like pick out and be like I want this white shirt with the detailing on the neck um, but I love they style it for you and they pick out things that they know that you'll like or that they hope that you'll like. So I'm going to go online now. 
I'm going to go to my profile. I'm going to rate my items. I'm going to tell them what I want to keep. Just everything. I'm going to tell them the jeans don't fit. I'm going to put that on in the description. There's a place for you to put what you like and don't like. If you want to get specific, you don't have to. And I'm going to put on there, they're not long enough for me. Um, you know, they have to be at least 34 inch inseam to be long enough for me, but I'm going to keep them to get the 25% off the, off the box. And I know a friend who I think is maybe going to be getting a present soon. So, um, but yeah, and then at the end, they'll give me my final total, my receipt, and I've got a credit card on file with them. So they'll charge it. And I'm just so excited. Um, I don't know. I really shouldn't get another box soon because I have so many clothes from them and I give them a lot of money but at the same time we're switching seasons and I don't have a ton of winter clothes so I don't know I'll figure it out I think I want to wait a month at least I might wait three months we'll see anyway please comment down below if you liked or did not like any of these outfits if you were like that teal just makes you look sick and pale because I'm already pale but um, let me know uh, if you didn't like if the white just make me look like a white whale please let me know I mean in a nice way would be preferred um, but yeah and if you really liked it comment down below if you want to check out check it out for yourself go to dia.com dia.com um, if you want a reference code I can totally give you my reference code so just put it in the comments down below and I will send you my reference code so I can get I think I get like $20 off or something if you believe my reference code so that's pretty exciting uh, maybe I'll just include it in the description we'll see if I can figure out how to do that um, but anyway yeah make sure you hit the like button subscribe if you haven't done that yet I've got a couple more I've got cause box is my last box for the September slash fall season and I got it in the mail. I'm so excited about Cosbox. That video is coming up next so check that one out too. Like, subscribe, make sure you hit the notification bell so you can see when the new videos are coming out and I hope you have a great day. Bye.